Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to import some data into a table in SQL Server. So you got either a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV, and someone wants you to import into your database. So the way you do this, um, so first of all, I'm going to show you that I've got a file out here on my desktop. It's just an, uh, an Excel file. I have an Excel file and a CSV, both with the same data in it. I'm going to crack that open. And so we've got these, these fields in this tape, in this table. So it's just an address table. It's got an ID, an address line, one, two, city, state, postal code, you know, just basically address information. Let's import this into SQL Server. So the way to do that, you have to pick the database you're going to import it to. So I've got this SSTS admin two. I'm going to do the import. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to the tasks. And I'm going to say import data. And then it's going to bring up this wizard dialog. And we're just going to click through it. Now, in my case, my data source is going to be Excel. And I have to tell it where that file is. So again, that's on my desktop address, the file we just looked at. And now we have to tell it the destination, which is going to be SQL Server. SQL Server client. Tell it what database we're going to put it into. And now you have the opportunity, if you wanted to, you can go in here and rename this. So I'm, I don't want that dollar on the end of it. I'm just going to name it address. And you could edit the mappings. So it's going to try and infer the data types. We're going to let it go as it's inferred. I'm going to say OK to that. And you have some other options in here. So when you create the destination table, so it's going to actually try and create a table for you. And you can override these data types if you wanted to. You could even add something, you know, another column if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it how it is. You can go here to preview the data. Just take a look at it. So now I'm going to go to the next tab. And you have an option. You want to run it immediately or save it as an SSIS package. Most of the time, I'm just going to run it immediately. And here it's just confirming everything. And finish. Close that up. And now I'm going to expand the SSTS admin two database, and there should be an ad, a table named address. Let's take a look at it. And there you go. So we've got the data from that spreadsheet imported in. And now really quick, I want to show you how to do the same. Remember we did with the Excel file. Now let's, let's go get the CSV file. So we're going to right click on our database, go to tasks and there's an import flat file that I've had more success with with CSV files than I have with the import data. So we're going to use that. A little bit different dialogue here. So what we still need to specify where that file is. So on the desktop, there's a CSV file that looks very similar to the Excel address file that we imported already. And what you want to do is give it a table name. So since we've already provided the address, we're going to give this one address too as its name. And you could specify a schema if you want here. It's going to preview the data. You get an opportunity to go in and edit the data types if you want, change what the primary key would be, and whether or not you want to allow nulls. I'm just going to leave everything as the defaults. And it's imported. So now I'm going to refresh my tables list. And as you can see, we've got the address two here now. And there's the data. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, learned something. So we went over again how to import data into SQL Server from either using an Excel file or a CSV file. This is a very common request uh, of uh, for database people. So uh, 
I think it's something that'll be very useful for you guys moving forward. So if you liked the video, if you learned something, please like, consider subscribing. And if you have questions, please send them along.